All right, picture this, you're at the range, focused, holding a firearm. The world narrows to you, the target, and the tool in your hands. You've taken your stance, aligned your sights, and controlled your breathing. Everything is still. Then, with a deliberate and steady motion, you squeeze the trigger. In that instant, you initiate a violent yet perfectly controlled chain reaction. A process of physics and chemistry that has been refined for over a century. But what actually happens inside that firearm in the milliseconds between your decision to fire and the bullet beginning its journey? It's a process far more intricate than a simple point and shoot. To truly understand it, we need to appreciate the journey from ancient cumbersome firing methods to the marvel of engineering that is the modern cartridge. Let's break down this incredible sequence of events step by meticulous step. First, that trigger you're pulling isn't just a simple button, it's the first lever in a series of interconnected parts known as the action. As you apply pressure, the trigger moves, acting on a component called the sear. The sear is a tiny, critical piece that acts like a gate, holding back the immense potential energy stored in a compressed spring connected to either a hammer or a striker. Your pull disengages this gate. Freed from the sear, the hammer or striker is propelled forward by its powerful spring. It slams into the firing pin, a hardened steel rod that transfers this energy, striking the small circular primer located at the base of the bullet cartridge. This single mechanical action is the bridge to a chemical one. The primer itself is a tiny metal cup containing a shock-sensitive explosive compound like lead stiphnate. The sharp impact from the firing pin crushes this compound, causing it to detonate. This detonation creates a tiny but intense jet of flame that erupts through a small opening called the flash hole and into the main compartment of the cartridge which is packed with a propellant, what we commonly call gunpowder. Now this is a key point, modern smokeless powder doesn't explode, it deflagrates. That means it burns incredibly fast but it is a controlled burn. This rapid combustion instantly converts the solid propellant into a massive volume of superheated high-pressure gas. How much pressure? In a rifle cartridge it can spike to over 60,000 pounds per square inch. That's more pressure than you'd find at the deepest parts of the ocean. All of this energy is contained for a fraction of a second within the brass casing and the steel chamber of the firearm. This immense pressure exerts force in all directions, perfectly illustrating Newton's third law. It pushes backward on the cartridge case, creating the recoil you feel, and in many firearms, cycling the action to prepare the next round. But the path of least resistance is forward. The gas slams into the base of the bullet, pushing it out of the cartridge case and accelerating it down the barrel at an incredible rate. We're talking about reaching speeds of over 1,700 miles per hour for a typical handgun, and for some high-powered rifles, that can exceed 2,700 miles per hour, more than three times the speed of sound. But speed alone isn't enough for accuracy. As the bullet hurtles down the barrel, it's forced to engage with the rifling. Those spiral grooves cut into the barrel's interior. The rifling grips the bullet and forces it to spin. This spin is absolutely crucial. It creates gyroscopic stability preventing the bullet from tumbling end over end in flight. Think of it like a quarterback throwing a perfect spiral. That spin keeps the bullet aerodynamically stable, pointy end forward, ensuring it flies true to its target. Finally, after this incredible journey, the bullet exits the muzzle. That flash you see is the explosive combustion of superheated gases and unburnt powder hitting the oxygen-rich atmosphere. The sound you hear is twofold, the sharp crack is often a mini sonic boom from the bullet breaking the sound barrier, followed by the deeper boom of the expanding gases. The moment the bullet leaves the barrel, the firearm's job is done. It is now officially a projectile, on a path governed entirely by physics. The moment our bullet leaves the barrel, it enters a new, hostile world. It's no longer guided by the rifling, but is now at the mercy of physics. The first and most significant force it encounters is air resistance, or drag. Think of it as the bullet pushing its way through a thick, invisible fluid. The faster it goes, the harder the air pushes back, constantly trying to slow it down. The bullet's pointed shape, its ballistic coefficient, is meticulously designed to slice through the air as efficiently as possible, minimizing this drag. Simultaneously, another relentless force is at play. Gravity. From the very instant it exits the muzzle, the bullet begins to fall towards the earth. There's a common myth that a bullet travels in a straight line for a hundred yards or so before it starts to drop. That's simply not true. It's falling from the first millimeter of its journey. And if that wasn't enough, there's the environment itself. 
Any crosswind, no matter how slight, will push the bullet off its intended course. Over long distances, a gentle breeze can cause the bullet to miss by several feet. Expert marksmen spend years learning to read the wind and compensate for this drift. So how do you hit anything far away? By accounting for these forces. To counteract the inevitable drop from gravity, a shooter must aim slightly high. The barrel is angled upwards, launching the bullet on a high, arching path much like throwing a football. This flight path is a parabola. The bullet climbs to its highest point or apex and then begins its descent, hopefully intersecting perfectly with the target. Long-range shooters use sophisticated scopes with adjustable turrets to precisely angle their aim, a process called dialing for elevation. They are, in effect, solving a complex physics problem with every shot. After this incredible journey through the air comes the final, violent moment, impact. This is the realm of terminal ballistics. When the bullet strikes, it transfers its immense kinetic energy to the target. The amount of energy is staggering, and it's primarily a function of the bullet's speed. Remember the physics equation. Kinetic energy equals one-half mass times velocity squared. This means that doubling a bullet's velocity quadruples its energy, which is why high-speed rifle rounds are so powerful. But it's not just about raw energy. It's about how that energy is delivered. This is where the bullet's shape and construction become critical. A full metal jacket or FMJ bullet has a hard, rounded nose and is designed to pierce through a target cleanly. Contrast that with a hollow point bullet. Its indented tip is designed to cause the bullet to expand dramatically on impact like a blooming flower. This mushrooming action slows the bullet down rapidly inside the target, transferring all of its energy and creating a much wider cavity. This design maximizes stopping power and reduces the risk of exiting the target. The materials used are a balancing act of physics and engineering. Most bullets have a dense lead core for mass, wrapped in a harder copper jacket. The copper protects the barrel and helps the bullet hold its shape in flight, while the lead provides the weight needed to carry momentum. From muzzle to target this entire sequence, the battle against drag and gravity, the parabolic flight and the violent energy transfer, often happens in less than the blink of an eye. For a target 300 meters away, a typical rifle bullet makes the journey in under half a second. It's a journey that covers two distinct fields of study, external ballistics, the science of its flight through the air, and terminal ballistics, the science of its effect on the target. Every aspect is a calculated decision to control the outcome of this incredibly fast and complex event. So the next time you see a depiction of a gunshot in a movie or a game, Remember the unseen forces and the intricate physics at play. There's a wild high-speed story of aerodynamics, gravity and energy conversion happening in that fleeting moment between the flash of the muzzle and the final impact.